When China invaded and occupied Tibet in 1959, India generously offered sanctuary to His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the tens of thousands of other refugees. Now, more than 50 years later, their situation is still tenuous, especially for the 8,000 Tibetans living in the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh. At the request of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Tibetans in Canada, the Canadian government is facilitating the immigration of 1,000 displaced Tibetans. I'm Nima Dorji of Project Tibet Society. I was born in Missouri, India, came to Calgary in 1981 with my family. It wasn't until I traveled to Arunachal Pradesh that I really understood the plight of the Tibetans living there. There are 8,000 Tibetans living in five settlements that are scattered across a politically sensitive area of India. It is remote and the infrastructure and the roads are really bad. Tundrup Dorji, a senior public servant of Central Tibetan Administration, is our partner in India. Actually, you know, this, is, this particular spot uh, was where the Tibetan refugees who came into this country in 1959, they were located here as a temporary transit uh, settlement camp. And I think uh, most of these uh, refugees, they were engaged in the road construction. And prior to that, I think this is, this is a very humid, subtropical uh, type of climate. Many Tibetans uh, are believed to have died here because of sickness and because of uh, the extreme heat and the humid climate. When they first came here, actually, this was all forested. There was elephants around, tigers in fact. And so what we see today is actually a land that was claimed. And since then they've started farming and uh, settled here since about 1962. I feel that Tibetan people uh, over here, they are very, what call, uh, honest, true and hardworking. To help welcome them to their new homes, Canada Tibet Committee has incorporated Project Tibet Society to oversee this opportunity. Interest in the program is very high. Hundreds of people attended the public consultation meeting. A lot of questions to be answered and a lot of discussions. Actually, I always think that if I get a chance to do anything, uh, to help our community or anything else, no, then I can do, really. Especially for our village, which is so small, they have no you know, facility of big things. So if in case uh, I got a chance to go to Canada and I got a good job, then really I can do something for my village. No? <laughs> In case of someone like her, you know, she's saying whether we like it or not, we'll find something to live and uh, we'll, we'll find and make a life out of here. But it's really for the children. It's the hope for the children. The children have a much better future than, and opportunities. Opportunities with full right and freedom in Canada. 
For me, it was only after coming to Canada did I have a citizenship of any country. Until then, like these Tibetans from Arunachal, I was simply stateless. Coming to Canada meant that for the first time in my life, I had a country to call my own. In Tibetan settlements across Arunachal Pradesh, there's already a young child who, with the right opportunities, may be a future doctor, a classical pianist, a scholar, or a school teacher. I've completed my nursing, so since there's no opportunity to work in this settlement, so right now, presently, I'm working in Delhi as a staff nurse. Some students, they go for the army, uh, so they could not go for the further study. Now I'm working in Mumbai, uh, but uh, but others youngsters in our settlements are not as lucky as me. If uh, Tibetan people settle in Arunachal get chance to immigrate into Canada, it will immensely help them because um, it will give them a chance to have a different kind of livelihood. So I'm very thankful uh, for the Canadian government and most thankful to His Holiness for making this a great vision. We need your help. We need sponsors to provide temporary shelters, jobs and support as they start their new lives in Canada. <laughs> Please visit our website, tibet.ca.